Hey there, it's my fourth year doing Extra Life. Once again, I'm playing for Johns Hopkins, and once again, I'm doing it because they saved my oldest daughter's life twice in her first two years of life. Uh, once again, I'm gonna be doing um, either push-ups or sit-ups. Um, if you donate, for every dollar you donate, uh, as an incentive, a way to give something a little fun for, for your donations. And I'll be matching um, dollar for dollar uh, for the first uh, little bit. So the earlier you donate, the further your donation goes. Um, remember, we're doing this for the kids, so any amount you can donate would be great, and it helps a lot of kids get access to care they otherwise wouldn't. So thank you very much, and enjoy whatever game I'm just about to play. Bye. It's time for Eric Plays Multiplayer Civ 6. Hey there, guys. Uh, as you can see, we've had a couple donations since last time, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I had to uh, uh, bring my uh, Python API program back to life because um, the Extra Life API changed and um, uh, the program I was using before here on Windows uh, developed by this great guy named Brian Friendly who had developed a few different um, apps um, for tracking that I've used in the past. Uh, he did his in Adobe Air and he doesn't want to update it, which is fine. That's, you know, it's free software uh, uh, in every sense of the word. And so, um, so I reconstituted mine and got that working and actually spent a good chunk of today trying to get a GUI working similar to his GUI so I can have something pop up when someone donates. I've got a while till November and um, it's kind of actually rare for no need to donate um, during my playthrough. Usually I get donations um, afterwards. It was her donation during the playthrough that actually triggered me to realize that the API had changed. Uh, all that said, um, because uh, mostly I've been playing Pokemon with Scarlet. I didn't want to take away from her playtime before her bedtime. I have not given any of the push-ups or sit-ups that I owe people. I, that was one of my incentives, that I'll do one per dollar that you donate. Um, additionally, I was going to do matching, and I will do matching. But I want to give people a chance to have their name appear uh, in a few videos, kind of memorializing the fact that they donated, because it's for such a great cause in, in this case. Um, donating money for uh, Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to at least try and give David the 25 that I owe him. Uh, and I'll, I'll load up Civ while that's going. And depending how my wrists are feeling, I might do sit-ups for Noni's 25. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Uh, so I'm going to start up Civ, and then I'm going to uh, um, do the push-ups. So do that, and let that start going. Game was not launching for a second there. well so I'm just gonna that was 10 I'm gonna do the next 15 at sit-ups crunches whatever you're plotting a new course again aren't you the current before is ever-changing. 
We must adapt. All right, so what I'm going to do first is um, and how get past this video, start actually loading the game. Now, the other 25. From the first stirrings Zips. of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Heroic Frederick, King of the Germans. Your task is to forge the independent states that surround you into an empire. You are blessed to be a great... And there we go. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. Apparently I've learned a new civic. So work out. All right. Mysticism. I can have unlocked the Oracle. Relation and inspiration. All right. Nothing I want to do just at this moment. Um. Oh, this looks good. This is really empire. All right, send an envoy to Preslav. All right. Dave, Dan has asked to send a diplomatic, whatchamacallit, envoy. Duke of Swabia, King of Bern. Ah, oh, yes, the Holy Roman Empire, which Dan's uh, teacher used to always talk about as neither holy nor Roman nor an empire. Uh, yeah, we'll let them visit our capital. Alright. Let's upgrade you to an archer. Um, Alright, so we've got Dan right here. We've got Dan right here. It looks like he's up against the boundary here. As well as here. So I'm not sure what I would gain by going this way, but let's try it. Alright. I guess, actually, I don't know if Dan can even enforce his borders yet. We'll find out. Alright, uh, so it says next turn. Seven turns I'll have a monument, two turns I'll have a settler. Alright, oh yeah, and I'm building a road between my cities, which is great. And that was pretty quick. Save that game. Submit that file. And get back to the uh, main menu. Uh, yes, main menu. <coughs> All right, next game. I think that worked. Hot seat. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the right. great beasts of the Stone Age, so we're to man taking his first upright steps, wait for that you to have go come far. And click over here so we don't, I don't have to compete with the audio there. Um, there we go. Uh, I just want to thank you guys again, Dave and Noni, for donating. Um, donating to. Uh, the Extra Life Campaign for Johns Hopkins Children's Center. And uh, hopefully we can continue to raise money. Uh, major victory, they say. Excellent. Let's get our butts over here. Oh yeah, wait, that's right. I was going to guide that guy to another city. Well then. <laughs> that's what happens when it takes forever between turns. But anyway, that's submitted. Now exit to the desktop. Alright, so that's... There you go. 
that's been me playing Civ 6 multiplayer and uh, and doing some push-ups and sit-ups and uh, having a good time. I'll see you next time. Bye.